Okay guys, we're going to do a video real quick on flashing the Samsung drives. You need to get your firmware from X-Bins. Once again, I'm using a connectivity kit to power the drive. But you get your firmware, then you open your iPrep. We're using 101 version 6. You load your firmware, you click load firmware, then navigate to where you saved it. Ours is on the desktop. Click it and open. It'll give you your options, your speed options. That's 8, 5, 2, and I'm going to use 12. It loads it in. You put a check by patch MTK flash. Make sure your RAID controller is right. Make sure your target drive is right. Ours is H. Put a check in format, make device bootable, and prepare destination. This is building your flash drive that we're going to boot off of. You can do this with a floppy too. Most people now use a flash though. Click OK that it's finished close out power down and boot onto the flash that we just made I do not have the 360 drive hooked up right now the SATA is still undone the power is on to the drive now I power up the computer on the flash. For some reason on this computer, if you don't power down, if you just do a restart, it will not boot to a USB flash. At this point here, you want to hit Y for yes. Now you want to hook your SATA cable up to the drive. Now's when you want to go on and do that and hook it up. At this point, we're going to dump it. So you hit D SAM and your seven and five digit serial. I'm just using one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I would use your serial. It makes it easier for you to keep up with. I hit enter. The drive is on and the SATA is hooked up. I hit enter. It's telling you make sure your drive is on, which it is. Hit any key. It's explaining the 10 second trick there. This Extreme Prime Master is what you've got to have. Um, you've got to have that listed because that is your drive right there. Now you do your 10 second trick. What you do is you cut the drive off. And as soon as you hit the three, you start your 10 seconds. Mine is always 10 seconds on the nose. Some people say it's more, some people say it's less. Definitely try more or less if the need arises. At 10 seconds, cut it back on. It'll read four banks, it should go to 100%. On a flash, it goes really quick. On a floppy, this is much slower. SAM tool start up, firm tool, same thing. On a floppy, it takes that much longer to start. It can take a minute or two for firm tool to start up and build your hacked firmware. On a flash, it happens fast. At this point, you would want to power everything back down, reboot into Windows, and make a copy of your original firmware that it's put on that flash. I already have an original so I'm just going straight on to the flash now it's just like the dump but you use F F Sam and your serial everything still hooked up on the drive and powered up just like when we started hit enter make sure the drive is on again yes just hit enter my Extreme Prime Master is there. 
the SATA controller is seeing it again once again you do the same 10 second trick you cut the drive off wait till you get you a good starting point hit the three and in 10 seconds cut the drive back on this time it's flashing now and it'll flash all four banks If you don't get that extreme prime master then it is not seeing your drive and there's something you're gonna to have to change in your computer PCI slot you got to change it different SATA card different SATA cable something anything everything you just you've got to get it to where to see that drive once it gets to here it's finished power the drive down unplug your SATA I'm gonna stick it in the 360 real quick We're going to make sure to play our backup. Call of Duty 4 once again. And that's it, fellas. That's flashing the Samsung drive.